Have you ever noticed that you tend to scroll by content that looks too perfect, but the content that you connect with most usually is a little bit messy and less curated? Well, according to this TikTok, polished authenticity is going to be a content trend that we'll be seeing throughout the rest of 2023. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can use this trend to transform your brand Plus, I'll be sharing my weekly roundup of creator insights that can level up your content game, help you grow your brand, and maybe make a little money along the way. Stay tuned because you are about to be in the know. Let's watch the TikTok that I am referring to. This is one of the top social media trends we'll be seeing until the end of the year, messy content. With the rise in use of user-generated content by businesses, photo dumps from creators, people want more authenticity from their content. So when you're focusing on content creation until the end of the year, take inspiration from images like this one of Emma Chamberlain. You can still have creative direction and branding featured, but keep the content relaxed by taking images on an iPhone or recording in selfie mode while still focusing on great lighting or a professional setting, you're creating trending content that resonates and feels authentic without losing out on any content quality. Polish authenticity can really transform your brand by keeping things attainable with the right amount of aspirational for your audience. In the world of content creation and branding, the era of overly curated and polished aesthetics is evolving. The trend of polish authenticity recognizes that audiences appreciate content that feels genuine, relatable, and attainable, yet with a touch of aspiration. Polish authenticity is definitely a balancing act, and it's about finding that sweet spot where a brand feels refined and professional yet approachable and authentic. Perfection is not relatable. Audiences are drawn to content that reflects their own life while offering inspiration and achievable goals. When you're thinking of your content strategy, consider where does authenticity come from? And oftentimes that comes from a place of transparency and vulnerability. In 2024, be open to figuring out how you can share your processes, your challenges, and even your failures with your audience. When you're transparent in this way, you can foster a sense of trust and connection with your audience. You do wanna maintain a polished aesthetic, but you wanna stay away from over editing or presenting an overly curated image like i said it's gonna be a balancing act in order to convey this messy carefree type of vibe in your content next we're talking about entrepreneurial advice and this is really going to connect hard with business owners aspiring business owners in the digital entrepreneurship space which is like content creators or online business owners, anyone who's really trying to create income for, for themselves using the digital space. This will connect with you the most. And Gary V posted a video this week. Here's the video that, he, that I'm referring to. And the part that I wanna pull out for you and want you to take with you throughout the rest of this week is personalized outreach, personalized outreach. Now, I did hear about this when I was doing research for another video from Sunny Leonard Doozy, and it really blew my mind because when you are in the digital space, I feel like it's easy to only build your audience digitally. You don't really think about what you can do offline, and this advice really can put in perspective how powerful reaching out to your network and people in your real life can do for building your brand. So sending individual messages with content links to acquaintances, former colleagues, and contacts can expand your audience. Who would have known? And Sunny's advice really falls in step with this as well. She said that crafting a message that you can send to friends and family and people in your circle that one lets them know what your services or your offer is can go a long way for getting your first few clients. And I think that can be translated over to crafting a message to your your people, your tribe, and letting them know about 
how your content can be helpful and maybe it won't work for them, but they might think of someone else and be like, oh, let me send this video over to my friend or to my colleague. My, my, my friend just told me that she just started a business doing this or selling this. I'm not going to be purchasing it right now, but I know someone that will. And word of mouth is one of the best forms of marketing. If you're one that's creating your dream life through the efforts you put in online, I don't want us to miss out on the opportunity of sharing that passion with people offline. It could be beneficial to craft a few templates, message templates to share out to people you already know. And then I'm thinking right now, it would be cool to have something prepared for when you're out and you meet someone new, you have some messages that you can send to them that points them to content again that could be valuable to them or someone they know. So let's get to tapping into our folks offline and bringing them into our digital world and who they know into our digital world as well. I wanna share a creator tool with you. Some of y'all might already be using this, but if you're not, I do wanna share this little thing with you. So I actually have to disconnect it from my computer. Okay, it's a little, it's a little dusty. Let me try and wipe it down but here we are come on focus okay this is an ssd drive and i believe that stands for solid state drive this is something that you're gonna want to edit your videos off of so when it comes to editing video content especially for youtube consider using an SSD drive. Editing directly on your laptop without an SSD may lead to issues like slow performance and frequent crashes in your editing software. Avoid editing large video files directly on the laptop for better overall system health. I had to get another laptop because I was editing my large YouTube content directly on my other laptop and it just stopped performing. My software was crashing all the time, essentially what I just said. And you can get this from Amazon. I, I'll link, I'll put a link in the description box for you and it goes a long way. You also will need, depending on what type of lap laptop you have, a cord to, is this in focus? A cord to connect it to your device does wonders. Okay, now now this segment right here is called Shine a Light on It. A Shine a Light on It. Shine a Light on It. I want to do kind of like a mini case study and shine a light on this piece of content that I saw this week that will be super helpful to you. Again, if you're an influencer or a content creator wanting to start a business in 2024, take note of what I'm about to tell you. So Erin On Demand recently launch, launched the second iteration of her product, which is the Top 3 Notebook. This video is a perfect example of how to market slash sell a product without being too salesy. This vlog format is approachable and laid back and allows her to showcase the lifestyle associated with the product. And circling back to the first thing that I shared with you guys today about that messy content being a trend, the vlog isn't necessarily messy, but it's not perfect. It's just her going throughout her day and that creates this like intimacy, this personal connection with her viewer slash potential customer that is not like suited and booted. Here's my product. This is what it does. Here's all the benefits and like giving it to you in that traditional sense. It's like, hey, like I have this top three notebook. This is how I use it. And if you want to have this a part of your lifestyle or you see how it's helping me in my lifestyle, it could do the same for you. It's a clear example of that. And the adage that I've heard 
just doing different research of like, don't, what is it? Oh my God. The adage that I've heard recently, just doing research of don't sell the product, sell the lifestyle, I think is genius. I bought a top three notebook when she first released it, and I'm just not an analog person. I do everything digitally in my notion, and it was cool for some of the days where I wanted to write stuff down physically in a notebook, but I just didn't use it as much as I would have hoped, so I wasn't really pressed to get another top three notebook but after seeing this vlog i'm like i just want one <laughs> i just want one to have just in case or perhaps i can use it in a different way potentially for my content creation planning but i felt so connected to the lifestyle and the vibe that she was giving off that now i can see where this product may work in my life i that that video took someone who is already in her ecosystem, already really enjoys Erin On Demand, her content and everything. Like, I really like her as a person. She has helped me so much. I'm already locked in with her, essentially. That didn't mean I was gonna purchase uh, her product or wasn't pressed to get that right now, right away. But after seeing that video, I, th this is a great point for me to say, to remind you of like attainability and perfect amount of aspirational because I aspire to be someone who is productive and don't let things fall by the wayside, don't forget about things and feel like I have all this stuff piling up on me. I aspire to have a life like that. And in her vlog, she showed me what I'm aspiring to. So if there's a product attached to that, I'm more inclined to want to get it. She really connected with me emotionally and she didn't push this product onto me. She, she said, hey, it's in the description box if you want it. Like it was very laid back. And also she has been sharing that she launched the product, not only on YouTube, but she did on Instagram. And she did it on Instagram in a couple of different ways. On Instagram, there's a reel where it's more talking about the benefits and details of the product, which if I was on YouTube and now I'm like interested and I saw her reel, now it's like she could really seal the deal. And some people, they want to know what you're selling and want to know how could how can it be valued, valuable to them instantly, right away. So I think I want to commend her for the content she's creating around her relaunch of her product. And I really want to encourage you to take note of that strategy that she's using to sell. You don't wanna be a salesman type of vibe when you want people to buy your product, especially if you're someone already with the audience, don't switch up on them and start like, you know, being aggressive with your selling. Always, and I'm really talking to lifestyle influencers, people who create content, and are trying to make a living out of it. Even if you're more niche and not necessarily lifestyle, if you have managed to build any sort of an audience, how, however you feel like you've gotten to that point to bring people into your ecosystem, keep that same energy when you start selling something to them. And that's what I'm, I'm saying. And I think that wraps up that segment and my first ever weekly roundup of creator insights. I want to keep doing this every week and I also want to celebrate your accomplishments. So please leave a comment down below of something that you're proud of that you have done in the past week or so, maybe this past month. And hopefully I can share some of that in my next video. If you enjoyed this, I would appreciate a thumbs up or some feedback. And if you want, you can subscribe for more of this type of content and just a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. Until then, stay informed and keep creating. Bye.